Hey everyone, Matt Reichel here, owner of Boreas Campers. We are on site here in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Behind me, we have our 2022 Boreas XT. We're gonna do the walkthrough here, so let's jump into it. All right, everyone, let's start up front here at the tongue of the camper. Here you'll see our multi-axis coupler. This is from Cruise Master, one of our favorite off-road trailer companies to be working with. This is the DO35 hitch, and this system is rated to 7,700 pounds. Um, we've run all the multi-axis hitch couplers available in North America, and this truly is the best system out there, easiest to hook up and disconnect, quiet on the trail, and we certainly put it through the paces getting up to this campsite tonight. Another great feature is the parking brake. So getting to camp, parking it at home, real nice feature to have. All the trailers will come with your breakaway brake system, safety chains. You have your leveling jack here on the side with the rubber caster, so it's easy to move around. All right, as we move back here, all of our campers come with a seven pin harness. So this runs all your trailer lights. It runs the electric brakes, the reverse lights, and it also will charge off the tow vehicle to the camper while you're towing it. Behind that, right in front of the toolbox here, if you saw in 2021 with our big chassis redesign, all campers come with a two inch receiver up front. So this is a great way to haul bikes or motorcycles, a luggage rack, and that keeps it off of the rear of the camper, the weight forward, and in your rear view mirror and in sight. Properly equipped, you can do up to three bike racks here or a single moto tray. Before we get into the rest of the trailer, we're gonna talk about a lot of cool components today, but in my opinion, one of the best things on this camper is this placard right here. This camper is American made in Denver, Colorado with skilled craftsmen. All right, here we have our storage box up on the tongue of the trailer. Mounted on top here, you'll see this is our optional luggage rack and cargo net. Great way to haul some extra gear, some firewood, things like that. You can also put two more bike racks up here. So you can do either the luggage rack or the bike rack, but a lot of useful space here. Inside here, you have a ton of pass-through storage. This also houses your batteries, your solar charge controller. Uh, if you upgraded to an inverter system, that would mount inside here as well. And then all of our campers come standard, pre-wired for a ZAMP portable panel if you ever wanted to expand. All right, the way you're gonna stay powered up while you're off-grid camping is the 100 watt Obsidian panel by ZAMP Solar. Uh, it's a very high efficiency system, great to keep you out there longer. And again, this is another American made product. All right, as we come down the side of the camper here, I wanna talk quickly on our construction system. Uh, as many of you are aware, uh, we don't use plywood in the construction of this camper. It comes with a fully welded aluminum exoskeleton and we use all composite wall panel systems. So there is no wood material in this camper whatsoever. So that means nothing to rot, mold, or mildew. You know, wood screws and washboard roads just don't mix. And this is a camper that is built to last a lifetime. Um, as we move back here, up above you have your eight foot awning. We have other options for 180s and 270s, but this system comes standard. And you can also get the full room enclosure system for it as well. So you could add on the room, sleeping arrangements. It's a great screen room. There's definitely some mosquitoes out here tonight. As we come down here, this is your cabin door and we are running the Turn Overland Euro style door. We'll get into more of the details on that on the cabin walkthrough. Uh, back here we have uh, the roof rack system as well. This is welded into that exoskeleton, so we're not putting any extra holes into that roof, and it makes for a much stronger system than your typical rack. Um, porch lights on either side. You have your shore power here, so this you can plug in at, at a campground, you can plug in at home or in storage. It also works as a trickle charger. Uh, you can just leave this thing plugged in. Uh, right behind here is your water fill for the 30 gallon water tank. And of course, standard on any off-road trailer should be a full size spare, which this is. All right guys, so we're gonna do a run through here on the cabin systems. 
the window on the door, we're really excited about this new Turn Overland window. Um, so this is an acrylic window, so it has a much better R value than your typical glass. Um, and this is a pop-out window, so it can lock in, and then you can open it or shut it on its struts with a locking feature here. It also has the built-in screen, and it also has the built-in shade. So this also has Reflectix on it too, so it adds some insulation value. And you can open that window and run half screen, half shade. We've been really happy with it. Great way to keep the air moving through the camper. As we move inside, uh, we have <clears throat> overhead cabinet doors here. They're held up with a magnet and a locking latch, so nothing's rattling around. Uh, right here is your converter. So this has your 12 volt and 110 system. This is also the charging system from the shore power we showed you outside. Uh, right here is the digital Propex thermostat. So this will run that 6500 BTU furnace. You've got your shore power 110 plugs here, your LED power and dimmer switch here. Below you have your battery gauge, dual USBs here, a single plug in 12 volt, and right here is your master kill switch. Another important component of the cabin is the mattress. We have a custom mattress made for the XT. It is a full queen sized. It's four and a half inches of memory foam wrapped in organic cotton. And you have a six foot seven head to toe in here. So quite a bit of sleeping room, uh, even for the compact size of the XT. Up above here, we have our Max Air 6200 fan. This comes with 10 speeds, reverse option, and it also has a built-in thermostat. And another reason we really like the Max Air fan is it has that built-in rain hood. So you're able to keep the fan open, even if it's raining, always moving air here through the camper. Over here on the passenger side of the camper, you have your Propex forced air furnace. This is a 6500 BTU system, so it's more than enough to keep this camper warm and toasty in the coldest of nights. I mean, you can turn it into a rolling sauna if you'd like. We house this furnace inside an aluminum box here, so you don't have to worry about storing your bags or luggage or gear uh, and melting anything or getting it too hot. And of course, this whole system runs off Propex's digital thermostat. And it also has a timer system too, so you can run it for set periods of time uh, if you're not looking for an exact temperature. This will run 37 hours straight off of our standard 11 pound propane tank. So plenty for those winter camping trips, the ski resort parking lots, and chasing storms. At the rear of the camper, we have our 11 pound propane tank. This will run your forced air furnace, your stove, and your hot water shower right here. Inside is the on-demand hot water system. So this will heat your water 65 degrees warm or whatever is in the tank. So it is great for the dirty dog, doing dishes, or just a long day on a dusty trail. Up above here, you'll see another option here is the uh, 230 shower room enclosure. So this thing pops out, drops down. It is quick privacy room. I'll usually carry a little bamboo roll up mat so you're not standing in the mud. And it's a great option for a little portable bathroom too if you are carrying a cassette. All right guys, let's get into the running gear on this camper. Uh, if you've been following along, you'll know that in 2021, we made that big shift and partnered with Cruise Master out of Australia for their hitch coupler and their suspension systems. Those guys set the bar for off-road trailer suspension on a global scale. Uh, they are the top of the line system. We've been super impressed with the 3,500 pound CRS2 kit that we run, and that does come standard on every camper. We've always believed that if you're gonna build an off-road camper, it should come standard with off-road suspension. Uh, it also comes with your 3,500 pound electric brakes. On the uh, show side here, you've got your ProComp steel wheel on a six by five and a half bolt pattern. And then we are running the infamous BF Goodrich K02. Uh, that is a 235-80 R17. We like running that taller and a little bit narrower tire 
for better track width and eliminating the potential of hydroplaning a lighter trailer. Uh, covering every BFG is our diamond plate fender step here. So this isn't just for looks, it can take a load. You are able to stand on it, access the roof, access a rooftop tent, bikes, kayaks, whatever you have up here. Uh, and we also have options for other awning systems on this side, 180s, 270s. Uh, but what you've seen here today, we've designed to fit into a standard garage. All right, folks, we've made it to the rear of the camper here. Uh, before we get into the galley kitchen area, I want to touch base on a couple things here. So again, you will see another two inch receiver hitch here. So we've got one in the front and the rear. This one's rated to 300 pounds. You can put another bike rack back here, a luggage rack, a small dirt bike. You can see here I'm running a recovery shackle. You know, we are getting into a couple technical sections here where it's nice to have that already set up. Uh, on either side of that are your LED lights. So that's your brakes, your blinkers, and your reverse. And those, of course, are housed in a bash guard. Right below that is your levelers. So having a good night's sleep is very dependent on how level that camper is. And these are large enough that you can actually lift a tire off the ground to change if you ever got into that situation. Well, let's hop into the kitchen here. This is something that really sets us apart from the competition. Uh, as you can see here, some real quick coverage. So rain, sun, snow, whatever it might be. Um, another thing is the amount of storage that we're able to offer in this kitchen. The camper overall has just over 40 cubic feet of storage, which is industry leading. Um, you're not gonna see that a lot in the traditional teardrops because the sloped back, you lose a lot of that storage and you lose the opportunity for the overhead protection of the door. Up above here, we do have another porch light for those late night cookouts. Also, here is your paper towel holder. Very important convenience thing to have, right? Uh, here is your stainless steel countertop. Behind that is your cabinet storage. This has your 110 plug-ins, your LED light power and dimmer. Then you've got 12 volt, your USBs, battery gauge, and this is the switch for your water pump. Uh, our cabinets here are all made out of PVC. So again, there is no wood in this camper. It is all composite or metal. Um, the reason we like this galley style kitchen is everything here is in reach. So you've got your food, you've got your cookware, your pots and your pans are all right here. Uh, once you're ready to set up and cook, pull out your sink and stove combo here. These are on 500 pound AccuRide locking slides. So they lock out and they lock in for travel. Um, here you have your on-demand self-priming water pump. That feeds off a 30 gallon water tank. So plenty of water for those extended trips. Here you have a two burner propane stove, 5,700 BTUs per burner with a built-in igniter. To the left of that, um, if you've been following along, we've been running Truma fridges now for a couple years and we've never looked back. They are definitely the most efficient system on the market and their quality is next to none. And what we've found too is when you call customer service, someone picks up the phone, which we can all agree is important. Uh, this is a 60 liter fridge. So typically you don't see you know, a single fridge this large in a teardrop but that is an important factor and we wanted to offer it. Uh, that again is on a 500 pound locking AccuRide slide. Well folks, that's our kitchen. Now if you've been following along, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, we really like this kitchen and it's one of our favorite components of the camper. Uh, it's an important factor when you're out camping, this is where everyone's hanging out. You're cooking food for the friends or the kids. Um, and everything is right here within arm's reach. R water, stove, your fridge, all your uh, kitchenware items. So, And another great factor is, is just how quick that you can roll this kitchen up and head home. Voila. 
All right, everyone, that wraps up our walkthrough video here on the 2022 Boreas XT. If you've got any questions, make sure to give us a ring or shoot us an email. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow us on social media or YouTube where we go into much more detail on some of the components, the accessories, and the options available on this camper. And if you're looking to get into campsites with views like this, this is the trailer to get you there.